How's it going again, my Peloton peeps, iFit freaks, and Ergata Frittatas? Welcome back to the Weekly Watt, where we cover all of the week's top connected fitness news stories and updates. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and now here we are at the end of Cyber Week, whatever the hell that is, and while we wait for the inevitable world takeover of Omicron, at least we can take comfort in knowing that The Simpsons, or in this case Futurama, has predicted the future once again. People of Earth, I am Lur of the planet Omicron Percy I-8. Is this thing on? We have a wide variety of news to cover this week. One of Peloton's newest coaches has shattered the record for being the quickest Peloton instructor to be removed. iFit is headed to Amazon bookstores and so much more. Thanks for being here. It's always appreciated. I'm your host, Colin, with Connect the Watts. Let's get into the news. The never-ending game of Lawsuit Hot Potato continues on this week. In just the past month, iFit sued Victoria's Secret, then Peloton sued iFit, and now we have Lululemon filing a new lawsuit against Peloton. Lululemon is accusing Peloton of patent infringement over the designs of their new line of leggings and sports bras. Shannon Higginson, Senior Vice President, General Counsel, and Chief Compliance Officer at Lululemon, said in a statement, quote, Unlike innovators such as Lululemon, Peloton did not spend the time, effort, and expense to create an original product line. Instead, Peloton imitated several of Lululemon's innovative designs and sold knockoffs of Lululemon's products, claiming them as its own. Peloton, in response to the complaint, said that Lululemon's allegations lack any merit. Even a quick comparison of Lululemon patented designs with the allegedly infringing Peloton products reveals numerous clear and obvious differences that allow the products to be easily distinguished. And if Lululemon's patent infringement lawsuit sounds like bullshit to you, well, you're probably right. The fashion industry has never really been known for patent lawsuits. That was until Lululemon started a series of lawsuits against companies like Calvin Klein and Haneswear, and seemingly not to protect its designs to win these cases, of which I could not find any that they have ever won, but more likely as a way to recoup losses through settlements as the retailer faces increased competition. Well, when Victoria's Secret settles their lawsuit with iFit, that money can then go to Peloton when iFit settles with them, and then I'm sure that sweet settlement money will find its way into Lululemon's hands before another company sues them, and the lawsuit circus continues on and on. Also this week, Peloton announced three new cycling instructors that are being added to the German crew. This includes previous professional dancer Mila Lazar, Dr. Charlotte Weidenbach, and the odd one of the bunch, Benny Adami. And I hope you love this as much as I do, Benny's fitness background is in teaching trampoline classes. And look, you can tell this guy jumps on a trampoline all day long because he literally has the biggest calves I have ever seen. Seriously, his calves are the same size as his quads. It's insane. Now, I'm not sure a Peloton trampoline would be a good idea if they ever wanted to utilize Ben's giant calves and expertise, but it can't be worse than the half-cooked, underbaked, and overpriced Peloton guide. And speaking of German coaches, Peloton tread coach Marina Anderson announced she is leaving Peloton effective December 4th, making her the quickest turnover of any Peloton coach in history having just been added in at the end of September. She shared the news on Instagram, writing, Sharing with you all Saturday will be my last class at Peloton. Thank you, my Peloton teammates, and most especially all of our Peloton members. I've loved running with you all and have learned so much from spending time on the tread with you. Please keep in touch as you continue your running journey, and I'll see you out on the road. Peloton instructors leaving is actually a fairly uncommon occurrence, with only three others having left since 2019. And one of those ex-Peloton instructors, Jennifer Jacobs, has launched her brand new workout program this week with Beachbody. The program is called Job One, which is a four-week program featuring short 20-minute workouts five days a week, as well as optional indoor cycling workouts designed for the new mixed bike. This program is the first to be filmed in both English and French and launched December 2nd for preferred customers and VIP early access begins on December 16th. You ever walk into a bookstore and think, man, I wish I could do a workout here. Of course not, but thanks to a deal from iFit and Amazon, now you can. 
iFit announced this week that you will now be able to experience the Nordic Track 1750 treadmill and S22i cycle inside more than 50 select Amazon bookstores and four star stores in the United States from now until February 2022. So if you ever wanted the opportunity to try Nordic Track to see how you'll like it, now is your chance. Speaking of iFit, there has been a new update to the TV app and this update allows you to access and switch between all 11 music stations and choose closed captioning. The new update also allows you to adjust the music and instructor volume separately to create the ideal experience for your space. Previously, this was available on all other iFit platforms, but has now been added to the TV applications for those of you who prefer to take iFit classes on the bigger screen. All 11 music stations are unfortunately only for those of us in the US. International iFit members will be able to switch between only four stations. In my international crew, you all got fucked over in more ways this week as well. Peloton has announced that it will no longer be offering extended warranty plans for bikes sold in Australia. So if your bike has an issue after one year, you might end up being pretty screwed. But I would try to check out to see what other options are available down there. I know here in the US, I found Upsea, which offers better extended warranty plans than what Peloton provides. So maybe them or somebody else will provide plans in Australia. Let me know in comments if you know of any. And finally, Whoop has launched a new menstrual cycle coaching tool on their app which offers suggestions on how you might alter your training, sleep, and recovery throughout different phases of your menstrual cycle. I, for reasons that I hope are obvious, have not tested this out, but from what I've heard, it's actually pretty useful and interesting to help better guide you on which days to push harder or rest more, given the hormonal fluctuation women's bodies tend to go through. I did a review recently on the new Whoop 4.0 and I thought it was great and I'm still loving it. And I definitely suggest you check it out if you wanna learn more about how to alter your training and sleep to better optimize your recovery. So what new classes and programs were released? Well, highlights for a Peloton include five new Beatles theme classes, six new ACDC theme classes, and the first new FitFam class that I've seen in a long time featuring Jess Sims and Rad Lopez. iFit added a 12-part Train Like a Pro George and Copy Hawaii Cycling Series, a 16-part Journey for the Soul Yoga Series with Julie Piat, and on Saturday, iFit is going to have its first ever live group ride. The El Tour de Tucson with Heather Jensen is an approximately two hour ride the community can do live together this Saturday morning. Tempo has added several new mini one week programs like Thrive the Holiday Yoga, Jumpstart, Strength Made Simple, and Lose Weight Kickoff. And Regatta has added a monthly challenge called Point Play, challenging their members to accumulate thousands of points in their meteor style workouts. For every 5,000 meteor points you collect, they will contribute $1 on your behalf to Together We Rise, which is a nonprofit organization helping children in foster care. And finally, we have the deal of the week. Since Cyber Monday is now Cyber Week, we still have a ton of great deals and discounts going on right now, but one of the biggest price cuts is for the brand new Amazon Halo View. Amazon's new fitness tracker is set to be released next week on December 8th, but if you pre-order now, you can get $30 off, bringing the total cost to just $49. It is returnable until January 31st of 2022, so if you order now and regret it, well, Amazon has a pretty easy return system. I ordered mine and will be doing a review on the Amazon Halo View that will hopefully be done by the end of the month. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen, for this week's Weekly Watt. If you enjoyed it, make sure to please let me know by hitting that like button, writing a comment, or even better, sharing it to others. I have a good amount of videos planned for next week, so be on the lookout, and the Weekly Watt will be back next week as well. See you then.